going on, everyone? And I'm back with another edition of Action Sunday. And this week, I'm changing gears a little differently. So, uh, so I'm gonna kind of go back to how I say the action adventure epic real quick because um, just about several weeks ago, um, Disney the Disney Plus app dropped and they released a whole bunch of good content, including this hidden gem, which has been on my watch list for quite some time, and that is the Rocketeer. So yeah, and of course I heard about this cult classic, and yes, it is a cult classic because. While it's a very charming movie, it, it's very good uh, from from what from from first impressions. However, I heard that this movie did not do well at the box office, and critics hated this movie. But wh why? Which scratched my head. Why? Because because I feel after watching this, I'm like, this is this is actually not that bad of a movie. It's fun. There's some it, there's some silly moments, but it has. A great uh, story has some great characters. I love this whole little throwback to the old uh, like serials of the forties and fifties and that kind of thing. Not to mention the the story kind of takes place during that that time period. Like the you know this is like during World War Two kind of thing. And it's based on a graphic novel of the of the same name. So yeah, so this whole thing is essentially kind of like a big trip. It's like a nod, a throwback to the film noir era, and that, and all that good, good stuff, I think you would, fans would definitely like it, I think I know, and yeah, definitely, I could definitely see why Chris didn't like it, it's because, okay, I feel like they, you know, oh, they dropped the ball on this, I'm like, I don't think they did, I think they tried to, to bring elements from that era to, to that, to, to today, by today, which was when the movie came out, which was like the 90s, early 90s, so yeah, it's, it's it's not that bad, folks. It's real lo loads of fun. The action, um, if you want to call it, is just crazy. You got uh, you got some you got all the stunts going on from the Rocketeer, played by Bill Billy Campbell. Good good stuff th there. You got the crazy back uh, like gangster backstory going on, like all this crazy stuff. You got Paul Servino. A bit kind of cliche. He's typecasted in a, in a mobster role, so yeah, I don't want to give much of everybody's everybody's uh, roles away. But I'd say if you've never seen this movie, go find this movie. So, but anyway, let me give you the real crux of the whole plot. Is essentially this this guy, um, Cliff. He he's like a stunt stunt uh, plane driver, kind of like that. And so he somehow he finds a prototype jet jetpack, um, and somehow somehow becomes this uh, character known as the Rocketeer. He comes kind of like an overnight sensation, comes a hero. But, but spoilers, unbeknownst to him, is that it was actually a government project held by Howard Hughes. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's an interesting twist. And, and yeah, yeah. So, so, so somehow he was afraid. And somehow they were trying to get this away from these, um, from these characters. Well, how would I say, um, I don't want to give much of what, much of story away, but of course it do gets more, more crazier and more, more deeper than that. So somehow it, it's the mobsters that they're trying, that the government's trying to get, get and get from this prototype from, but somehow it falls in the hands of this guy. It, yeah, it's, it's a wild, crazy, uh, uh, like adventure kind of thing. And I'm loving it. Like, oh my goodness, there's like so much I can talk about, but it's just late. I just want, just want to tell you guys that this is, it's actually pretty darn fun. And I think everyone did a great job. All right. Billy Campbell did a great job as a good hero. Jennifer Connelly, super young in this role. I think this kind of predates, uh, um, Labyrinth, I think, um, to my knowledge. If not, um, not shoot me. I might get it wrong. So she does a good job as the female lead. Uh, Timothy Dalton plays, um, uh, <laughs> plays the villain. Uh, spoilers ahead. I'm like, and this is a rare thing. I've never seen Timothy Dalton play a villain role. And it's, and it's kind of refreshing because I'm so used used to seeing him play like James Bond, and of course around this time he had just wrapped up his his two from two film deal as as the as our favorite Bond and Bond character as you know our favorite uh, super spy kind of thing. I'm I'm sorry, I really cannot speak this evening, but yeah, but yeah. So it's pretty neat how that and how he like was able to swim into this really interesting role. He's that he's this uh, he's probably he's an actor. Um, that's that's like so for himself. He he wants whatever that this thing that the mob is trying to get. Uh, that's that's all I'm trying. That's all I'm gonna get for you right now. But there's a big twist as the story goes on. And for and if you anybody who's familiar with the Rocketeer, who's read the graphic novel or 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 you know been encapsulated by this thing, you know what the twist is. So I'm not giving you much more information there. Um, 
yeah, not much else I can say. I love, I love the costume work. I love the setting. I love everything about. But this this one, this movie really shows me that uh, they, that Disney had a really good idea to like pay homage to the to the to Hollywood back in the day. You know, during the thirties, the time, World War Two, and I think they did a good job. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say this: fuck what the critics said. This is a really fun movie. All right, I'd say go find this. Go find this movie right now. Over on the Disney Plus app, and you'll have a good time. All right. Uh, so if I had to give this movie a score, I'm gonna give this movie, I'm gonna give it maybe a, I'm gonna give it a, a, an eight out of ten. That's as fair as I'm gonna get get from it. The only my only nitpicks on this is like um, there was like unexpected time moments where they didn't really need the county, and also like uh, there was like a big bit, a bit of a few dumb moments that I thought thought could have been wor worked on throughout the movie. But hey, it's still an entertaining movie. Go watch it. That's just for me. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome, exciting videos.